This is a very quick summary of what we mean in CT when we talk about windows levels and density. If you want a fuller description of this, uh, check my other YouTube video on the same name. You may have noticed as radiologists, we look at the slices of a patient's CT scan under a number of different display settings that we commonly call windows. For example, this is a typical lung window, a soft tissue window, a bone window, and this is not only a lung window here, but it is also a lung reconstruction. So let me explain quickly here the difference between a CT reconstruction and a CT display window. Reconstructions are images that are produced by software processing the raw CT data. They're usually done by the technologist, but not always. For example, here are two reconstructions of the same chest CT scan. On the left, this is what's called a usual soft tissue reconstruction, which we usually look at the tissues in the mediastinum. You can see on the right, however, this is a lung reconstruction. These are both displayed in a lung uh, display window. And this is designed to produce a much more contrasty, high-resolution look at the lung parenchyma. Here is a 3D reconstruction of the bones of the pelvis to enable an orthopedic surgeon to plan surgery for this complex uh, fracture of the left pelvis. And on the right is a curved linear reformat of the thoracic aorta in a patient who has an aortic dissection. This gives us a non-anatomical but linear outlay of the thoracic aorta. Windows do not require uh, reprocessing of the primary data, but instead are different ways of displaying the information that is on the image. Commonly used windows are shown here. Each of these different windows aims to maximize the display of one particular set of soft tissues, but at the cost of us not seeing the others. For example, here we are looking at soft tissues of the mediastinum, but we cannot see the lung. We can see the lung on the lung window, but we can't see the mediastinum. And we can see the bones here, but we really don't see the soft tissues or the lung very well. This is because of the wide range of densities of the soft tissues which are found on the average CT scan. Density on CT is measured in Hounsfield units, with zero being water, and typical Hounsfield unit measurements of soft tissues found within the body are shown here. A typical computer display monitor can show 256 shades of grey, which would be about 8 Hounsfield units per shade of grey. But here's the kicker. Our eye can only see a 6% change in grayscale. We're just not as sensitive. We can't see all 256 shades of gray. In fact, we can only see the difference between about 17 adjacent shades of gray. So what would happen if we took this head CT of a patient with a right basal ganglia hemorrhage and tried to display it in a way that we could see all 2,000 Hounsfield units, minus 1,000 to plus 1,000, over those 256 shades of grey. This is how it look. In fact, you can barely see that hemorrhage there. And I think you'll agree there's no diagnostic information we can get from this. And that's because the density of the hemorrhage and the density of the normal brain are only about 30 to 40 Hounsfield unit difference. That equates to approximately 4 shades of grey when we display it in this way. A change in four shades of grey out of 256 is much less than the 6% change that I talked about before. So what we need to do is concentrate those 256 shades of grey into the very narrow range of tissues that we're really interested in to be able to detect the most subtle differences between adjacent tissues. So if we're interested in the brain, we're going to want to put those 256 shades of grey probably somewhere in here, a very, very tight, narrow window or range of Hounsfield units. If we're looking at the soft tissues of the mediastinum or the abdomen, we might want to have a slightly wider range of soft tissues, maybe centered a little bit higher, something like this. Now note that all densities above this level are going to look white and all densities below that level will look black. We cannot distinguish between densities in these ranges. A question that students often ask is why is acute hemorrhage 
in the brain white, where acute hemorrhage in the abdomen or the thorax in the absence of intravenous contrast looks slightly hyperdense but not white. The density of acute clot is approximately 70 Hounsfield units. You can see here that on our narrower head CT window that that puts that 70 Hounsfield units right up near the top range of our shades of gray, i.e. it's going to be white or close to white where on our um, wider soft tissue window from the abdomen, while it is slightly hyperdense, it is not going to be white. So we can display every CT scan using two values, the window, which is how many Hounsfield units do we concentrate within those 256 shades of gray. And that can be a very narrow one, such as in the brain, or it can be a much wider one as we use for lungs and bone. The level is where on that Hounsfield scale of minus 1,000 to plus 1,000 do we center that window. Here's an example using a um, head CT of a patient who has had a right frontal subdural hematoma. Here it is displayed with a typical narrow window used for looking at the brain on CT scans. And it's difficult for us to distinguish the dense blood here from the adjacent dense calvarium, although they are radically different in terms of their Hounsfield unit densities. Here, by widening the window and centering it a little bit different, we can now clearly see between the subdural hemorrhage and the overlying skull. So for any brain CT, radiologists are going to look at a brain window, a hemorrhage window or blood window, and a bone window to look for skull fractures. Changing between these different windows is very easy. It's either usually a right click, and then you can select window width and measure and select one of these presets, or it comes off the top toolbar. You may have hotkeys on the keyboard associated with specific windows for the software you're using. Either a left click drag or a right click drag on the mouse, depending on the software, will allow you to make fine window and level adjustments. So to summarize, Reconstructions of CT scans require specialized software and usually done by the technologist on the raw data. But the window allows you to change the display of any reconstruction so that we can maximize the information that is available for us to interpret it depending on the tissues that we want to look at. The window is how many Hounsfeld units we wish to look at within those 256 shades of grey. The narrower the window, the more contrasty the image, but the more subtle changes that you're going to be able to see. And the level is where do we centre that window. And to be able to maximise diagnostic information from any CT scan, all clinical images require us to view them on multiple windows. Thank you.